Flowers, 24, was drafted by the Giants at number 9 overall in the 2015 NFL Draft, four picks after the Washington Redskins selected Brandon Scherf. Flowers would go on to start for the better part of four years with the Giants, but he regressed year by year, and at the end of his tenure there, he was traded, and he went unclaimed at the start of 2019 free agency. For a week, Flowers was a free agent, without a contract, and a future. But the Redskins eventually bailed him out, giving him a one-year contract worth $4 million, and presumably knocking out of 2026th round compensatory pick as a result. Per J.P. Finlay of NBC Sports Mid-Atlantic, the Redskins are comfortable with the risk they've taken. In fact, per Finley, Jay Gruden has stated that he believes Eric Flowers can make the transition to offensive guard. He spoke highly of Bill Callahan's ability to potentially mold Flowers into a guard, and likened the pending transition to that of Brandon Scherf. Gruden said he believes Eric Flowers should be able to move inside and play guard and compares it to Brandon Scherf moving inside and playing guard, J.P. Finley, at J.P. Finley NBC's March 26, 2019 for the Redskins, that is a very dangerous comparison to make. Yes, Brandon Scherf successfully made the switch to offensive guard. And yes, so have other players who were tackles in college, but projected better as interior linemen in the NFL but extreme caution must be taken when applying these truths to the Eric Flower situation. Want your voice heard? Join the Rigos Rag Team. Write for us. Flowers is a tackle who could potentially be better at guard. But Callahan has an enormous amount of work to do if he plans on trotting out Flowers as a starter. Flowers is a former first-round pick, yes, but one of Jerry Reese's infamous draft selections. We all know how Jerry Reese's career in New York ended. Flowers was, in large part, drafted because of his size and numbers at the bench press. He entered the league with sloppy pass sets, footwork, and hands, combined with stiffness and timidity at the point of attack. Four years later, he hasn't undergone much development in any of those areas. He entered New York as a project, and left as a project. Such stagnation, over a four-year period that provided plenty of opportunity, is a red flag. It's okay to believe that there is potential for Flowers to excel at guard. He's not a great athlete, but if Callahan can work his magic, something good could come out of it. But the Redskins cannot proceed through the rest of the offseason with the assumption in mind that Flowers will develop into a starter. Because Flowers hasn't made much progress in that direction over a four-year span, and if he doesn't buy into Callahan's method of teaching, it won't happen. Next, NFL Mock 5.0, Redskins trade back, grab a safety make no mistake, Eric Flowers' development in Washington is far from a guarantee. Redskins should act as if they still have a pressing need on the interior, because they do. Yes, project tackles can make the transition. But Flowers is a very extreme project to take on.